Well, I'm here today with Stephanie Gable and Brian Mason, and you're here uh, representing uh, the group called One Mission, right? Yep, that's correct. Excellent. Well, it's nice to have you here today, and thank, thank you, you for sharing a little bit about what, what you're doing and what's going on. Maybe, Stephanie, we'll start with you. What What is One Mission? So One Mission is an organization that started when um, a mother of a pediatric cancer patient at the Jimmy Fund Clinic sort of was realizing how difficult it was to financially and emotionally get through everything that's associated with pediatric oncology. Mm -hmm. um, so she started um, the fund in 2009 and essentially what they do is they donate all of the money towards um, sort of doing whatever it takes to get kids through cancer. I mean, whether it's financially supporting them, emotionally, music therapies, art therapies, all sorts sure. of stuff. Sure. Um, and since uh, they started in 2009, they've actually raised uh, $6 million. So they're doing quite well for a pretty mm -hmm. grassroots organization, and yeah. it's grown each year since. Sure. So, so, so when they're dealing with the, the uh, issues that patients and families may have, are there specific like activities that they run, or how does that kind of work? Absolutely. So there, there's a lot of different things to do. Like one great example I um, got from them was um, parking assistance. So oh, when okay. you think about um, $12 a day and your yeah. child has three to five appointments a week, mm -hmm. $12 a day, and their treatment lasts six months up to two years. You know, right. it doesn't seem like much at the time, but when you think about the costs in the long run, sure. in addition to, you know, any sort of cancer treatment, anything like that, um, they help defray the cost of parking. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of the art and pet therapy, clown therapy, things okay. like that while the kids are inpatient for longer sure. durations. You know, it's sure. really hard to entertain a one-year-old for six months straight in right. a 12 foot by 12 foot room. So they yeah. sort of do arts and crafts, therapies, get music therapists coming in, all sorts of things like that. So, so. really kind of talking about treating the whole patient, not exactly. just the disease. And we love that there's a bunch of fundraisers that do cancer research, but mm -hmm. that's sort of, it's been done, it's being done, and not much was being done to help the patients here and now going through the cancer. So it's a totally different, you know, sort of fundraiser. Sure. They do give some of the money towards um, pediatric cancer research, but mm -hmm. a majority of it goes to caring for the hair sure, and now of sure. cancer. No, that's, that's really good. As I said, you know, I think uh, we always think about the medical side of it. Yeah, you know, we absolutely. want to get the research, and obviously that's extremely important, but, yeah. but there was a human side absolutely. at the same time. So yeah. how did you get involved with One Mission? So I've been working at the Jimmy Fund for the last four years. Um, I love it there. I love all the patients. Mm -hmm. I love all the kids. And actually recently one of my patients who is going to be shaving my head, um, which we'll get to more later, I'm sure, um, he asked me to be his buzz buddy. And okay. there's a big event that happens on June 5th um, where Rob Gronkowski hosts the buzz off oh, yeah. at Gillette Stadium, which right. I'm sure people have seen the signs on 93. Sure. But I couldn't go to that because I might be traveling for work. So I looked into it and you can actually host your own event. So okay. I looked into it and I sort of put the feelers out and it sort of just like took off and it became this like really big thing before I even knew what had happened. I okay. mean, I raised like $200 in one week and I was like, oh, okay, we're doing this. Okay, this yeah. is happening. <laughs> so um, Christian, who's super excited to be doing this, actually asked me and it sort of just went from there. And I mean, I've been a part of the Jimmy Fund even before that I have a cousin that um, battled and subsequently passed away from neuroblastoma mm. when I was 13. So, I mean, I've always sort of been exposed to pediatric sure. oncology and then I happened to get a sure. job doing what right. I love. So And working at the Jimmy Fund, you Jimmy can Fund. see the effects of what One Mission is doing on the yes, patients themselves. And every day. And I mean, it's so great when I see the kids come in and they have with the One Mission on the back that mm -hmm. were donated at like a fun, you know, festival. They have different holiday parties and things like that. Right. And the kids are like, oh yeah, that was so cool. And right. oh my gosh, I'm going to be helping you guys <laughs> have that. So, it's cool. so you talked about the Buzz Off event, which yeah. as you said, is similar to the one that everyone hears about in mm -hmm. June at, down at Gillette Stadium, but yeah. you're doing your own here yes. in Reading. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. So on May 15th at Bunratty's Tavern from noon to three, we're hosting our own Buzz Off. And essentially what that means is um, my team and I, um, Brian, who's on the team, <laughs> um, and a couple other people, including the chief of police here in Reading, okay. will be shaving our heads. Anyone that has long hair like me um, will be donating the um, shaved hair to Panting Beautiful Links. Or anyone that is sort of skeptical to shave can also just cut eight inches off and do the okay. Panting Beautiful Links. Um, it's going to be an awesome event. We have all sorts of crafts. We have a bunch of food donated. Mm -hmm. um, there's a ton of raffles from a bunch of local vendors okay. all the way up through Andover. I mean, um, chocolate truffle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have, um, 
Venetian Moon, uh, Hitching Post. I mean, as right. soon as I mentioned it, they're absolutely, whatever you need, sure, we'll, we'll sure. do it. So. so you'll be participating in this event, Brian. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And you're a little skeptical, but. <laughs> At first I was, what do you, what do you want me to do? Like, oh, so, yep, absolutely. Uh, from how I more or less got involved, we started off, I started off more or less slow, just going to the Scooper Bowl, which oh, is yeah. another, you know, pediatric cancer fund. Mm -hmm. And then she's always telling me the stories, you mm. know, and it really, really gets you. Like, sure. you, you just can't can't avoid it. So as soon as she asked, I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know. So so uh, you're going to be having your head shaved off. To, yes. To, and, and part yep. of that is to show solidarity with the patients. Yes. And then also you raise money. How do you raise money through doing that? Well, we, you, um, you, a lot of one-on-ones with friends okay. who do, may do other, you know, fundraisers. I have, you know, a friend who's a police officer in Manchester, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. who does the walk for the Jimmy Fund, and I said, yep. oh, hey, you know, vice versa, we'll do that. And other people, sure. after you tell them what you're doing, are more than happy to right. donate. Um, they they love it. We have sure. a website set up, um, okay. and you can go on and donate um, on there, which is super easy, fast, secure, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you can also send in checks to One Mission, sure. like you know, um, and then also the day of the event, we're obviously accepting a ton of yeah, cash donations. You mentioned the raffle. And the raffle, and all, exactly. All too, yeah, sure. you know, it'll be you know, like a dollar or so or sure. whatever for raffle tickets. Right. So we're hoping to get right. a lot more that way. Our goal is fifteen hundred dollars. We're already at just under a thousand. Okay. So we're hoping that over the next month we'll hit that mark and then far exceed it. Sure, sure. So. so are people sponsoring you specifically to have, like, we, we would love to see the chief of police have this yeah. done, so we'll give you know, 50 bucks or whatever to see that happen. Exactly. Or? So we each have our own personal fundraising cage, but okay. then that total goes towards the team as well. So I've raised, I, I think, like $600. He's raised $300. The chief of police is like 60 but he just joined last week. Right. It goes towards the total team amount. Okay. But if someone is sort of, like, we have a couple of people that are friends with both of us, so they can mm -hmm. donate to the team as a whole, and that's sure. equally divided among all the team members okay. so they can reach their personal goals right. as well as the team And you, you have a team name, actually, too. We do. The Ball and beautiful. The bald and beautiful. So, <laughs> he didn't pick it. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I'm always interested in, and I think it's true, is, as I mentioned before, that you know part of the reason for the shaved head is obviously that uh, patients who are going through this oftentimes lose their hair. Yeah. What does it mean to them to have their supporters do this uh, this way? It's really huge. You know, I've there's been so many times where kids are sort of you know when we do their height and weight, they have to take off their hats and things like that. Yeah. And they, you know, you can tell they sort of do it quick and they rush and they duck. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, when they see a staff member that, you know, and especially with the amount of hair that I have, if they see that someone is willing to go to those lengths to make them feel comfortable in their own skin, like we're trying to show them that bald is beautiful. And no mm -hmm. matter what shape or size or anything like that, right. you know, you are such an inspiration because you go through so much and most of them come in with a smile on their face every yeah. single day so if it means I have to shave my head then I'll shave my head every single day if it makes them happy and feel more comfortable right. in their own skin and I mean a lot of the staff you know is far less apt to do it because you know it's it is a big step, but mm -hmm. when the kids do see adults getting involved in that way, they're like, "Wow, that's really cool!" Like, yeah. I'm not. It's not so bad, and they'll feel more comfortable taking sure. off the hat. And, anyway. and I would imagine if they feel even just a little less self conscious, exactly, yeah. when they have to go for treatment or whatever it is that's yeah. happening, it, it yeah. really aids them, you know, in their in their process of treatment. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, have they found that uh, that those kind of things actually kind of help? in the treatment in the long run? Absolutely. I mean, the the thing with treatment is there's the physical aspect, the chemotherapy, the radiation and all that stuff. Right. But I cannot stress how important attitude is going into a mm -hmm. di diagnosis of cancer. I mean, if you go in with an amazing support group, you know, financially you're comfortable and everything like that, your outcomes and how you feel and how you cope is going to be mm -hmm. totally different than somebody else that's struggling and doesn't have a good support system. Okay. So when you have a staff that, I love the Jimmy Fund staff, I mean, they go above and beyond constantly, all the sure. time. And I mean, when you have a staff that's supports you inside the clinic and outside the clinic, then it sort of just gives you that extra push. So when you don't feel like going, you know what, you, you know, 
I'm going to go today because one mission donated all this food yesterday right. and I wonder what they have today. It's sort of like <laughs> that one little thing that sure. might drive them to come in. You know, the St. Sure. Patrick's Day, they gave everyone a little pot of gold, which is just candy okay. and free parking. But I mean, for the parents, the free parking was amazing. And for the kids, it was like sweet candy in yeah. the morning. That's <laughs> awesome. So, you know, it's just like little things like that and having the shaved head, and, you know, it's solidarity and we can joke around and want my patient that's doing it, he's like, I can't wait. I can't wait to rub your head. And, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's something, right. it's, it opens the communication and everything. Sure. It just feels a little bit more comfortable yeah. with them. So it's one more thing that helps those patients Absolutely. get through the trauma that's happening. Yeah, as I say, to anything to get kids through cancer, that's one mission's yeah, logo. So. That's one mission's logo. Well, yeah. It sounds like a terrific organization <laughs> and a terrific event. I want to talk just one more time about the event to make sure we get the information out there yeah. to people. Uh, it's happening on May 15th. Correct. And it's at Bunratty's Tavern Bun, right here in Reading Bun Center. Bunratty's Tavern yeah. right in Reading Center. And do people have to sign up ahead of time or can they just show up? They or? can. They can go onto our website and they can sign up or they can just show up the day of whatever they want, whatever okay. makes them comfortable. And what is that website? Um, the website is http colon slash slash www.onemissionbuzzoff.org slash the bald and beautiful. Okay, so we'll, we'll put that on the <laughs> screen. To make sure yeah, that people have yeah that. it's really tough. And at that website, people can also donate. Absolutely. You'll yep. accept donations the day of. Absolutely. Like, and you're going to have raffles. What are some of the organizations or, or companies you have ra uh, I mean, raffle items from? Basically, every organization on Haven Street, here in Main Street, we have places all the way Salon Forza up in Andover is doing a free cut and color, Pe okay. Manny Petty. Um, Title Boxing in Woburn is doing a fundraiser in addition to ours. Okay. Um, CrossFit No Regrets in North Reading is giving a free month of CrossFit with them. Okay. I mean, uh, all sorts of organizations. Okay. It's crazy how many people. Is it a list on the website or is there people is have to going show to be a list, there will be a list um, on the that'll website. be okay. updated? It's we got a lot all at once, so we're trying sure. to keep up with trying it. But yeah, up. noon to three on the fifteenth. So, so noon to three on the fifteenth. Yep. Uh, May fifteenth at yep. Bunratty's Tavern Correct. here in Reading, and uh, you can watch people have their hair shaved <laughs> off and, and support uh, One Mission and what they're doing uh, for the kids yeah. and the families of those who are suffering from yeah. cancer. Well, thank you both for being here today. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you for what you're doing and thank you for the money you're raising. And I do hope not only that you meet your goal, I, I want you to double your yes, goal this absolutely. year. I think that would be terrific. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I hope, I hope you're able to get that. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You're watching Community Conversation here on RCTV. We'll be back in just one moment.